We move on to the middleweights. Clifford Starks and Krasimir Mladenov. Starks, 34 years of age, 5'10", 186. His reach, 77 impressive inches. Krasimir Vladimov comes to us by way of Sofia, Bulgaria. 29 years of age, he is 5'9", his weight just under 186. Now you see his reach at 68 inches. Scheduled for three rounds in the middleweight division. We now set it inside the cage and Jazz Securo. You ready? You ready? Let's fight! So here we go with the middleweights. Clifford Stark is definitely a veteran, Todd. He, he, he's been around, he's done it all. I've studied this guy, I've had teammates that have had to fight this guy. He's good, he is explosive, and he has his hands full right now with Mladenov, who comes from Bulgaria with a very high wrestling pedigree, and I'm not sure he's ever smiled. I haven't seen it. He's got more consonants in his name than I'm used to. Mladenov coming forward awkwardly with that right. Clifford Starks a little too quick for that. First thing that strikes me is these guys, as the weigh-ins, they checked in at 185 and 186, respectively, for Mladenov and Starks. Chell, at this point, after they've had a chance to rehydrate and get some good nutrition, there is no way Clifford Starks is 185, 186 pounds. No, I would guess he weighs about 202, 203 pounds right now. Now, I'm not sure the same can be said for Mladenov. He looks like uh, maybe a buffed up 170 pounder. Now, he's an excellent wrestler. And anytime you're fighting a wrestler like Starks, is doing right now. When you're so worried about the potential takedown, it draws away from your ability to go out there and let the strikes go. I think even this early on in the contest, we're seeing that. Starks will loosen up as the fight goes, but Mladenov needs to make sure that Starks continues to respect him, which means he needs to get some kind of offense going, and in this case, some grappling offense. He's kind of just stood on the outside and looked at him. Big body shot by Starks. Clifford Starks doing the early damage. Want to remind you, try your hand at scoring this bout. Just download the Mohegan Tribe ringside scoring app. You get to keep score and see how your scores stack up against others watching the same fight and our experts here at Comerica Theater at World Series of Fighting 23. So Clifford Starks, black, white, and red trunks, and the solid red trunks of Krasimir Mladenov. And a good battle here in the middleweight division of the World Series of Fighting. Mladenov is going to need to get some offense going. One, to win this fight, but two, just to keep the respect of Stark. Stark's is starting to loosen up a little bit. There's a shot attempt, and that's what we call a swing and a miss, Todd. There was not a lot on that. Krasner Mladenov going for the early takedown attempt, and you got to wonder if he just felt the breeze of that left coming from Clifford Stark. You got to think twice about it. Beat him every time. Don't follow him. Don't follow him. Good. Good. A little bit of blood coming from the right eye, the right brow of Krasner Mladenov early on. Boy, quite a bit. By the time you finish that statement, it exemplified yep. there. That gets into Mladenov's eye. That's going to be a, a big factor for him. He's already had some struggles here. He's a real powerful striker top, but he's so, he's so doggone slow right now, and his setups just aren't existing. Not a lot of these shots are landing. When they do, I can hear him over here in our seats, but he's going to have to set those up a little bit better. You see the damage that Clifford Starks has already inflicted on Mladenov, connected multiple times on that straight left, and then he'll follow the right. If you're Mladenov's corner, do you gotta get this fight to the ground? Yeah, absolutely. You know, he's a wrestler from Bulgaria. They've got a rich history in wrestling. He needs to try to use that. And about and all wrestling will really get you in, in your time. I tell you this as a wrestler, is it will get you top control. You've then got to do something with that. But right here, he can really earn some respect by threatening Starks with these right. takedowns. He's not doing that. He's not doing a whole lot of anything. Starks, on the other hand, still does have this respect factor. And Starks is a little hesitant to get this fight two underway. Chael, if you were coaching, you were bringing in a prodigy. Oh, I'd have done a great job. You would have been fantastic. I'd have really, I'd have made a difference. Goes without what saying. What was your question? But if you would have brought in a prodigy, whether it's a boxer or wrestler, where would you rather start? You know, I think I'd rather start with the wrestling background. Uh, and I, I don't think that that's a biasness statement, but it does help you in two ways. One with the condition and two with the control of the fight. And then learn the boxing. Boxing is certainly a very important element. 
But but I do think that the the, the grappler has always had some advantages. And many boxers have even said, Todd, that's because of the cage. It was in a ring atmosphere, right. and they have those ropes to work with that it changes. There's a good one-two combo. Speaking of boxing, landed there by Clifford Starks. Well, you've got Starks, who's really been control of the ring here as an excellent striker, and Krasimir Mladenov just looking for an opening. He's tried one takedown on Starks. It went nowhere as we come up on the final 10 seconds of this one, scheduled for three in the middleweight division of the World Series of Fighting. A little bit more feints, a little bit more. Every once in a while, throw a short right hand. You don't even have to hit pop, and then jab long after it. Pop, pop, right? He's trying to time your jab with he his overhand. Him. He's trying to time your right hand, right? We yeah. jab, show head, body, head. Head, body, head, then the jab the chest, overhand really right. Editor, right? Like That's that, gotta so be tight, though, son. Change nothing else. You don't have to force nothing. We want easy rounds. Seconds out! Shell, you get a good look out. at Clifford Starks, and he seemed uh, not that winded. Cardio, his his friend today. I noticed that as well. He was not breathing through his mouth. He looked very calm. Coach Lolly, his cornerman, gave him some excellent advice, which was simply, we don't need to change anything. We're winning this fight. And he is spot on with that assessment. Clifford Starks does not have to change anything. Madnov, on the other hand, really never got going. Let's fight. Underway for round number two. Five minute rounds in the World Series of Fighting. It's all about cage control and imposing your will on your opponent. And I think round number one would clearly have to go the way of Clifford Starks. Yeah, Madnov being the shorter, stockier fighter has no choice but to get inside. He cannot keep this range, and he's happy to circle on the outside, but he's not stepping forward. When you give up uh, the height, when you give up the reach and the size, you must step in. There is no other options. I, I think if he was to fake some takedowns, he could then come back up with the strikes or with the kicks. But he's got to get something going. I'm not quite sure that Madnoff knows how much Clifford Stark is respecting and even fearing those takedowns. But that's going to go away in short order if Madnoff doesn't start using them. Chest head, chest head. I'll fly with the chest. We'll take you inside the corner of Clifford Stark's corner in, in Arizona right Combat here. Sports. Cut that ring off. You're all right here. On the outside of these jab exchanges. The jab chest over the top. Cut the ring off first, then do it. Madnov does just enough to get the respect. He seems to get one punch in in each one of these exchanges. And it's a pretty thudding hard shot, Todd. I think that, that Clifford Stark is cognizant of this. He's got his chin buried and his hands up. He doesn't seem to be getting overly confident, though he also doesn't appear to be in any danger halfway through this contest. Clifford Starks has a 77-inch reach to Krasimir Mladenov's 68-inch reach. Good body shot. Boy, Clifford Stark has some real boxing skills. I really appreciate the positioning of the basics of Clifford Stark. He puts that chin down, he puts his hands up. So many times in MMA we see guys get comfortable in these four ounce gloves. We've also seen them get their lights shut off in an instant. Clifford Stark, very good basics. That's the veteran that we were talking about earlier. He's not going to let down partway through a fist fight. Here we are in an exchange. Madnov has got to keep going. Krasimir Mladenov coming in, getting some combinations in there, and he has shown that he has the courage to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Clifford Starks. Not a lot of guys want to get in that close to Clifford Starks and take the possible punishment of a double combo. Bait him, Cliff. That's your right. Your right, your right. Three-six to the body. Three-six. That mark. Go up right to the body. Hands, hands, go. This is the middleweight division of the World Series of Fighting. In case you're wondering who the champion is right now, the title belt holder. Well, that's a man named David Branch who just happens to be fighting the co-main event tonight as he steps up to the light heavyweight division. He's planning on keeping two belts if he wins that one tonight. So David Branch showing his greed here at the World Series of Fighting. Not one, but two belts is his desire tonight. Absolute history in the making, and it's a good potential for it tonight. Stop. Time. Time. Go around. The referee calls timeout. Go. I think he's going to call the doctor and yep. look at this cut. And it's under the right eye of Krasimir Mladenov, the 29-year-old out of Bulgaria. 
Safety the first and foremost concern for the fighters here. I'm rather confident even from our seat here, Todd, that this is not a fight ending cut. Though it's also not great if you're Madnov. Generally, unless there's excessive blood or, or a cut of the eyelid, these contests are not stopped for such an injury. Okay. If, it, if, it, if, that, if this goes any lower, yeah. Okay, we'll let him go for now. All right, go ahead. Stay there. So you hear the words of the Ready? doctor, the referee. If that cut gets any lower on that eyelid, they're gonna have to shut this one down. So Krasimir Mladenov in the red trunks needs to get to work in a hurry. And he comes out with some serious motivation as Clifford Stark comes in. And now he's just gonna go to work, tail on that left eye, and just start jabbing away. He's a veteran. Can't say it enough. Clifford Starks has been here before many times. He's keeping his wits about him. He's keeping his defense. He's got great basics, chin down, hands up, and he's trading. Madnov keeps doing just enough. He keeps landing those, oh, there he takes a big shot, possibly the biggest shot of the fight. But Madnov does just enough, but Todd, he is not following up with takedown attempts. He's known as the wrestler. He is a wrestler. He is not even implementing any wrestling on Clifford Starks. And once, if he loses Starks' respect, he's gonna get teed off on. That hasn't happened yet. As bad as things are looking right now, Starks hasn't even begun. And you gotta wonder how much Clifford Starks put into the gym working on his wrestling defense, knowing that he was fighting loud enough. And so far, no takedowns. This thing has not gone to the ground one time. And as soon as I say that, the announcer jinx in our first takedown. That's an excellent shot. That's the second one he's made of the night. He's had success with it. He's caught in a choke here. I can't see under his chin. Oh, he's caught. He's trying to push down on the knee to alleviate pressure. He's not succeeding. Clifford Stark State needs to stay nice and tight here. He could have this. He is under the chin. Now he's in full mount. He lets wow. it go. Wow. Covering up that eye with his right bicep as Clifford Stark goes to work. Under 20 seconds to go. A wrestler like Madnov is not spending a whole lot of time here in the practice room because he's just not put in this position. And as we look at Stark finish this round at Mount, Madnov simply did not know where he is. And our referee is once again calling for a doctor to take a look at this eye. And this time, yep. it could be fight ending. Clifford Starks was able to fire off some big elbows after that shot by Krasimir Mladenov. Well, I'll tell you what, it is a plethora, Chael Sonnen, of lefts and rights coming from Clifford Starks. Yeah, he just keeps finding his target, but it's a bit of a stationary target. Mladenov just hasn't moved enough. He hasn't offered enough diversity in his attacks out here. He's not putting the grappling and the strikes together, and I think he's got some better skills than he's showing. So there's the eye and the concern. Is it just on that eyelid, just below the brow? Second out. The doctor has okayed it. Let's go. Out, out, out. This fight will continue. No, no, no. Out, out, out. Stay in your corner, stay in your corner. That's good command of the ring by our referee. It's a way to Ready? take charge. This 60 Ready? second break is turning Ready? to about 75 by my count. But we are underway in the third and final round. So here we go in the middleweight division, a fight that has been dominated by Clifford Starks. Krasimir Mladenov having his best performance in round number two midway through when he came on with a flurry after a referee stoppage to have the doctor look at his right eye and the cut therein. And again, Vladinov coming forward awkwardly, not having the balance of a polished striker. And at the same time, there's Stark has not given up on his basics. Todd, how many times have we seen a guy have some success, start to get a little arrogant, a little confident, start to have fun in there, and it all falls apart. Stark is sticking to his guns. He's dancing with the one that brought him, which is good, solid basics. And you see his boxing defense, Jail. He keeps that right hand cocked just below his chin and the left hand constantly moving. Just surprised, though, that Krasimir Mladenov, with the wrestling background that he has, and we're talking world-class wrestling, 
has not really, is it a case of he hasn't been able to get Starks on the ground, or he's just thought, hey, I'll mix things up and I'll just turn this into a boxing match? I'm not certain what he's looking for, Tony. For the very opening round, he made a very clumsy uh, looking takedown attempt. He never went back to it. At the end of the second round, he made another shot attempt. It was excellent, and he got what he was looking for, and then he drug Starks to the ground and got top position before he was reversed. So. He's had okay success. He's, he's batting 50% out there with his takedown attempts, but he's not attempting very many. He's certainly not having success with the straight boxing as Clifford Starks really is starting to pick him apart. We talked about the nine inch reach advantage to Clifford Starks. He has the experience inside the cage. And as Chael Sonnen has pointed out multiple times, Clifford Starks not getting fancy, not putting a little too much relish on this dog. He is staying with his basics and what is working for him. Madnov is undefeated. Our fans that aren't familiar with him, he's had a dozen fights on the dot. He's 12 and 0, he's never tasted defeat. But I suspect that's gonna change in about two minutes and 30 seconds because he just hasn't mounted an offense. You look at his record talking about Krasimir Mladenov, he does have one KO in those 12 fights and four submissions, so he's not a guy that's gonna end fights. He's, as we said at the start, he's a grinder. He's gonna grind you out, usually it's gonna be on the ground. Good uppercut there by Starks. And Starks doesn't need to change a thing. Molnov looks away right there. He was looking, looking at the, at the big monitor. screen. Big monitor. I suspect he was looking for the time. There wouldn't be anything else up there for him to see. I do suspect he was looking at the time. Could be a sign of desperation talk. Could also be a sign of fatigue. Under two minutes to go for Krasimir Mladenov and Clifford Starks here in the third and final round of this middleweight bout. Ooh. Starks firing off a big right hand. Not going to take too many chances getting too close to Mladenov. You think about a matchup with a possible Clifford Starks and possibly middleweight champion David Branch. How would you see that one going? Branch, probably a more polished all around fighter, but Clifford Starks' boxing tonight has been impressive. Well, I think that that's a very likely matchup. I think those guys' paths are going to cross, whether it's for a championship or somewhere else down the line. There's a shot by we go. Maladin up. Now, again, this is his third shot of the fight. He's one for two, but he's making action happen. He's making Clifford Starks now react to him. And whether your offense works or it doesn't, when you're on the offense, your opponent is not. And there is the reigning middleweight champion, David Branch, watching the action back in his locker room as he prepares for his light heavyweight title fight, fight with Teddy Holder, which you'll see live tonight on NBCSN, beginning Let's at 10 here. Eastern. Starks on defense here, but the bottom line, Todd, is it really doesn't matter what happens. Starks can stay here all day as long as he can cross the finish line without being finished. Yep. He's going to have his hand raised tonight. He's digging underhooks here. Very smart. Backs himself off the fence. Great shot there. Yeah. By yeah. Maladnov. He's doing just. Yeah, Look man. Now Maladnov's exchanging. Clifford says, bring it. Look at this. This is a full-on scrap now in Arizona. And to the point I've been trying to make, when Stark, now Stark throws a combination, he suddenly gets to the body for a takedown. He came up a little shorter as they hit the ground, but they've got to work together. You've got to wrestle and strike, and that's where Melodnov failed tonight. Well, the last 25 seconds is probably what Clifford Starks was expecting from Klasimir Mladenov. Some striking at close quarters, and then a lot of time on the ground with ground and pound. And tonight, Krasimir Mladenov just could not get the veteran Clifford Starks to where he could do some damage. Shelly, you've been in enough fights to know that as bad as that eye may look right now for Krasimir Mladenov, uh, give it about 12 to 18 hours, and then tomorrow morning at the airport, it may look worse. It's a lot like a sunburn. After you take a <laughs> nap, you wake up and go, oh my goodness, I'm uncomfortable. Well, the last 25 seconds of this fight is certainly worth looking back at because if there was flurry of the night, this would be candidate. Yeah, these guys really went at it. They planted their feet and started exchanging. <laughs> And right here, even Clipper decided, well, maybe a little wrestling is in order. He conceded this position more than he was taken down. He ate up the clock. 
And he really fought like a veteran tonight. Yeah. Very good strategies by Clifford Starks. So Clifford Starks looking very polished inside the cage at the World Series of Fighting as he takes on a veteran, Krasimir Mladenov, who up until tonight had a perfect record at 12-0, but I'm in agreement with Chael Sonnen that that O definitely will probably go. With the official decision, we send it inside the cage and Jazz Secura. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of fighting, we go to your judges' scorecards. Judges Chris Flores and Tom Gabauer score 30-27. Dennis O'Connell has a 29-28. All for your winner by unanimous decision, Clifford Big Cat Storks! Yeah. Get ready. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. 